everyone. I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. And first off, I want to say I am such a huge fan of your work. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. I'm so happy to be speaking with you. Thank you for those kind words. Of course. And you were fantastic in the series, which I was not surprised by. But with the series being inspired by actual events, how does that make your approach different when it comes to telling the story? Oh, well, um, I was conscious every single day that I had a person to answer to and that this was a real person. So I was just very compassionate the way I would hope someone would be to me if the tables were turned. And um, so I just wanted to be able to stand by every decision I made. I was constantly, constantly focused on and, and, and openly communicating to Lee and Drew, the series creators, every director we had, the crew, the fellow cast, that we were not there to drag anybody. This was not a story of humiliation. This was a story of understanding. We know what happened. We know what happened. And that was everybody, you know, at this point, I think everybody knows what happened. The question is not, how do we feel about what happened? The question is why, how does something like that happen within, within someone? Because I, I'm, a, I'm, I love human beings. I just do. Um, I'm a big fan of us and we're always a mixture of admirable traits and, um, and things that we're unconscious of, and we're always developing and we're always becoming. And so I just tried to you know, just remember that, that there was no superiority to this. This, this is something that could have happened to someone I know. This is something that maybe could have even happened to me. So I just tried to stay very grounded in that knowledge. Yeah, definitely. And did you do any sort of specific preparation for this role that maybe you hadn't done when it came to past roles for you? I did a lot of yoga. <laughs> so, so much. And I was delighted to discover that I really enjoy it. So I'm still doing it. I yeah. That's, that's a pretty great lesson. <laughs> that's pretty great. It, 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 it wasn't terrible. Yeah. You know, her health habits are much better than mine. I'm a healthier person as a result of having played her for sure. <laughs> and there's so many, you know, true stories that we hear about that are shocking or, you know, we, like you said, offer compassion to these people. I'm curious, is there any true story that you would be interested, you know, in another one turning into a show or film? Yes, but I can't tell you about it because then someone else might make it. <laughs> what do you, what is, what's it, but, but more, more so than me, what's the story that you want to see? Oh my gosh, there's so many, you know, what we're living through right now, you see on the news, I, I look at the news every night and it's like, there's so many people I want to highlight. You know, I don't know if you feel that way when you hear things going on, it's like, you want to just bring light to everything. <laughs> Yeah, I saw something that was so beautiful, which was um, Polish mothers are leaving strollers at train stations oh for God. when Ukrainian mothers arrive because they're likely to not have a stroller. And just these, you know, we're, we're all we're all just figuring it out, yeah. you know, just hum human to human. We're all just figuring it out. But then but like you said, to be able to find a way to bring light into it is it's so important. I know how it sounds. <laughs> you know, I know that it's something that can be judged, but it actually is essential that we do it. I agree with you. That was exactly what I was saying. You can't even pinpoint one because it's like every day there's something new you want to hide. Yeah. Oh, and lastly, I just want to ask you, the love story is obviously at the center of everything. What was it like incorporating that and bringing that dynamic to life? Oh, for me, that, that was, it was an honor. You know, um, it, it was an honor to try to do justice to something that exists that is beautiful and complicated and, uh, but very, but, but it, as far as I can tell, very, very real. And, um, and it's one of my favorite things about them is how committed they are to each other and their family, how much family means to them. And, um, and I was so lucky. I just felt so lucky to be working with the person I was working with on this one who opens themselves so completely to their work the way I like to. And it felt like um, the most fortunate pairing I could have asked for in terms of it being able to explore a truly wild love story with someone who is himself an incredibly disciplined but wild actor. And so I just, I loved getting to do it, but I especially loved getting to do it with Jared Leto. I love that. Thank you so much again, Anne, for taking the time. This is such an honor for me. And oh, you're so kind. On the you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, just, just the truth. Thank you. Congrats on the series. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you.